Ezekiel chapter 27. The word of the Lord came on again unto me, saying, Now, thou son of man, take up a lamentations, sorrows, distress, troubles, for Tyrus. Now, Tyrus is a Mediterranean, or used to be a Mediterranean seaport, northwest of the Promised Land. Tyrus works out in prophecy of Alexander the Great and Nebuchadnezzar. And we'll be getting into that and other great details about Tyrus. And say unto Tyrus, all that art situate at the entry of the sea, Mediterranean Sea, location, which are a merchant of the people for many isles in the Mediterranean, the seaport, seacoast, many coming and going. Thus saith the Lord God, O Tyrus, thou hast said, I am perfect beauty. Now when we get to chapter 28, you're going to see that, that perfect beauty in an un unnatural creature. And we'll leave it like that. Now I can imagine what the I mean, if you've seen these old cities along the Mediterranean, and they didn't have cranes, they didn't have the archaeology, the computer age that we have today, they don't have the bulldozers. They were beautiful cities. They're not so beautiful anymore. Thy borders are the midst of the sea, the seacoast. Thy builders have perfected thy beauty. So God says that this city was beautiful. And the problem with beauty is beauty can become a sin because beauty becomes your God. They have made all thy shipboards of fir trees of Sinai. Sinar. They had taken cedars from Lebanon, and Lebanon is known and famous for her cedars. They make masks with the sails for the strong wooden craftsmanship. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made oars. I mean, they didn't have outboard and inboard engines. They had ore. A company of Asherites had made benches of iron. Boy, you, your animal lovers wouldn't love that. Remember this in the Bible? Solomon had an ivory throne that he overcovered with gold. <laughs> there was somebody, I, I, somebody who built a summer house out of ivory. And the men that would sit on the this ships or ships the rowers would be sitting on ivory brought out of the islands of Chittim. Fine linen was with broidered work for Egypt was that which thou spreadest forth thy sail. Blue and purple from the isles of Ishla was that which covered thee. Now look at this is a United Nations ship. There are nations all around the region that went into the craft of this ship to build it. America's at that point. All I can say is I was involved in a nuclear submarine building. I was on the, the Trident Ohio class submarine in Groton, Connecticut. I can't do use my, my job title. But I worked alongside of people of all races, males and females, all nationalities. Worked with me, worked beside me, worked on the same decks, worked in the same boat. Of all the continents. 
because this is going to get more in detail as we get more into time. We're actually going to look today, hopefully, in the book of Revelation about this unity. And God says through his prophets, I will gather the nations together to destroy them at the second advent. You will find in the tribulation there are ships mentioned as one third of the ships are going to be destroyed. One third of the waters are going to turn to blood. So this is a multicultural United Nations assembly of people gathered together to make a ship. Okay. It doesn't say ships, I mean, ships, ship boards, but that's not talking, that's talking about the wood. The inhabitants, verse 8 of Zidon. I believe I forgot to look it up, but I believe that's where uh, Jezebel was from. I, and I can be wrong about that. And Arvad, were thy mariners. So they had. People come to Tyre in these ships who were not Tyrenians or whatever you want to call them. Maybe they were Tyrenian Rexes. They had no arms. I don't know. The wise men old Tyrus. So this is a beautiful city and this is a city of wisdom. Old Tyrus that were in thee, thy were thy pilots. And those would be the ones that would, would would take the ships out and bring the ships in. When I came into when where I worked and lived in New London Canada, County on the Thames River, they would have big commercial ships come in. They would have to call the port authority and the port authority would bring in pilots. They would operate on the ships themselves or in the tugboats. And it was their job, not the captain's job, it was their job to guide that ship into what port in New London or Groton. Because those pilots knew exactly what the channel was of that river. The ancients of Gibal. And the wise men thereof were in thee, thy caulkers. Caulkers would be the ones that when you got two pieces of wood uh, put together, you would need caulking. And that would be have to be a job that would be done most often. I believe it said tar or slime was used for the Ark of the Covenant. I've seen these cocks. On, listen, I, I worked with lobstermen. I, lurked, I worked with fishermen. Even then, boats. And you go down into the, the cabin where the sleeping area is, where, where the, the, the area to have food or where you got your coffee. You can sit there and you can see in between the, 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 the strips of wood. You can see the caulking. And I, even myself, had had jobs where I would remove the caulking of the ships. And have to put new caulk in. And you have to use special tools. You have to do the job right. Because you don't want to put that boat in the water. And then have water come in. All the ships of the sea. Okay, that, that's plural. With thy mariner, my, mariners. can't say it. We're in need to occupy thy merchandise. So this would be cargo ships. This would not be military ships. Though they probably would have military on them. And right now we got a thing going on in 2021. We've got cargo ships sitting in the Pacific Ocean, sitting in the Atlantic Ocean, and they can't come into port. Right? And you find that in the Bible. People are going to be at Walmart crying, Alas, alas, I can't buy my toilet paper because it didn't come in on the ship that's out in the ocean. Alas, alas, Walmart had to close with the shipping stew out the sea. 
and people don't want to work because they don't want to get the shot. Disobeying the government, where Romans 13 says obey the government, and you want to be stupid enough to disobey the government, all right, then you're not going to get food and paycheck. And don't go crying to God, we got liberties, we got liberty. There's nothing against vaccination in the Bible. That's my personal five cents. They of Persia and of Lud, Lud, and a put were in thy army. So now here's military. We got merchandise and we got an army. Pirates, even we got pirates today out in the Indian Ocean. Pirates would not mess with these ships. Ooh, they got gold. They got all kinds of things. Yeah, but they also have an army. And those boats are built strong. Like men of war. They hang the shield and the helmet in thee. And they set forth thy comeliness. So the, the lookings of Tyrus, the lookings of the ships was... Wait, if, if, uh, I'm, actually, yeah, I have seen a battleship. I've been aboard a battleship. You walk up and there's... Oh, look at that. That's a battleship. Look at that. That's a submarine. That's a tugboat. That's a guy and his wife and his family out in a little crisscraft. Chris you look and you say, I know what the purpose of that ship is. And I said, it's a lobster in from Northern Connecticut. I, I've seen tugboats. I've seen oil tankers. I've seen ferries. I've seen all kinds of fishing and lobster boats. I've seen submarines. I've seen all kinds of military ships. And we haven't even seen the Coast Guard. i even seen and been aboard the USS Eagle. And when you look at that ship, I know what that ship is. And I've seen very few, but I have seen in my time in New London and Grant, I have seen those huge cargo ships. I've got them, well, I, they used to have them on film. So when you looked at this ship, you say, hey, that's a ship of merchandise. Yeah, but it's also a military ship. You see those men there? They don't fool around. The men of Arvad, with the with the, thine army, were upon the walls around about. I mean, now, this is, now this is in the city. You don't mess with the ship, and you don't mess with the city. And the Gamadins were in thy towers. So this city and the shipping, they had Pacific people of nationality doing Pacific jobs. And that the nationality of the people, it's be like, you know, it's not so in America anymore. It used to be. When granddad was a shoemaker, dad was a shoemaker, and son and grandsons were, grew, were grown up in the shoemaking business. And when we look at that family, and I'll call him Smith, Smith in that town, I heard something about the Smith. They're great shoemakers. That's their family trait. They hang their shields upon the walls round about. They had made thy beauty perfect. So their shields and all that, they, look at the splendor. I wonder how far you can see out to sea as you're coming in without a lighthouse. There's Tyre. How do you know? Look at all those shields gleaming. You think those shields are just, you know, they're just hanging on the wall. No, that was your daylight lighthouse. And I wonder if night they would have something to light up this, the place. Tarshish. That's where Jonah tried to go. He took a ship to Tarshish. He didn't get there. 
At least it was, people say it's Spain. I believe it is. Was, was thy merchant by reason of multitude of all kind of riches? With silver, which is tyrish, iron, tin, and lead. They traded in thy fair. So fairs would be, you see, you've seen pictures on the streets, on both sides of the streets, there's tents and booths and shops. There was a time that you, you know, if you wanted bread, you went to the baker. If you wanted fruits and vegetables, there was a person that would sell fruit and vegetable at their cart. If you wanted fresh fish, a guy would be on a cart with ice wheeling down the road. Hey, 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 what kind of fish you got today? I got some lobster too. That's a freak. But, and then you would have somebody make, you know, who did shoes. Somebody would be making clothes. Somebody make rugs. Somebody make blankets. You didn't have a cell phone booth. You didn't have toys booth. Yeah, little girls had had a doll, had a doll, and little boys maybe had a truck or something like that. And you know, these churches today for missionary, for we gotta buy toys for the kids. Don't need toys; they need Jesus. And they come from destructive houses. Well, if those kids get saved and brought Jesus home, maybe Jesus will get to the parents and get to the siblings and fix that home rather than a toy. So Tarshish is known for ore materials. And Tarshish would bring their shipping to, uh, Tarsh to Tyrus. And they would trade with Tyrus and they would do business. This is the kind of ports that Paul went on his missionary journey where shipping came and gone. And when Paul went to these ports, he was preaching and, and witnessing the gospel to all nationalities. That and uh, I was spooked by a church. I was I, I thought I was, I was supporting missionaries in Indonesia, but never went there. Indonesia today is a, a seaport city where people get aboard the ships. They're Christians, and and they get off the ships in Indonesia, and they deal with people of all nationalities all over the world, even where you can't put the Bible. That's what's going on here. Javan, Tubal, Meshek, were thy were. Notice the word were. They ain't no more. They traded the persons of men. So you could go to Tyre, uh, Tyrus and you could be, I need a couple slaves. Guy down the market. You want male? You want female? You... You want a Greek, you want an African, you want whatever. We're going to read something even more dramatic in Revelation. And vessels of brass in thy market. Look, look, persons of men, they're selling slaves and, and brass. That's the one thing that Tarshish didn't have, known in verse 12. What Tarshish didn't have, Jubin, Tebin, and Meshach had. You want to talk about a Walmart? You think Walmart's new? No, it's not. It's in Ezekiel 27. Listen, I can remember you could go buy fish at Walmart. I mean, the ones you put in a, you put in an aquarium. You could buy pet parakeets. I remember that at the Groton Walmart. That was many, many years ago. They of the house of Togrimus. This would be a family house. Traded in affairs with horses and horsemen and mules. You got livestock. And I would assume with the horse, I, I know about cows, but I'm not sure about horses. Manure for plants. <laughs> you can't buy a horse at Walmart. Not yet. You wait till Antichrist and sets up his store. We'll get to that. The men of Dedan were thy merchants. So in Tyre, here's all these different booths. And they're 
different nationality. I don't know what happened there. I mean, if there was Italian booth, you would have spaghetti and pizza. If pizza was even made. If it was German, you would have sausage and maybe the, you know the German beers. And notice in this list, we don't see America. The men of Dedan were thy merchants. Many isles were the merchants of thy hand. And the isles would be the isles that are in the Mediterranean Sea. They brought thee for a present. Here's a gift. Horns of ivory. Rhinoceros. Elephants. And ebony. That's black. <laughs> Syria. Oh, we know where Syria is. Syria is still causing us trouble. Where was I? Well, knows the word was. Because <laughs> Tyre is no more. Listen, this multicultural, made in Japan, made in America, made in France, made in Taiwan, made in Manila, in America, that's not nothing new. Here it is in Ezekiel 27. Open your Bible and say, I don't read the Old Testament. They occupied thy fairs. Have you ever been to a flea market? Have you ever been to a farmer's market? A good one. That was the fairs. Every September, I don't know how that, it's not so down here in Florida, but up north, every September the carnivals would come in. And the churches would have their, their fall harvest fairs. And, and it's a celebration like Israel had when it was their time of harvest, the Feast of Tabernacles, probably the date of Jesus' birthday. You could be celebrating the birth of Jesus and not even know it. And I know you knew when September was coming to New England because here comes all the carnivals. Here comes all the, the, the runky dunk circuses. You know, they weren't the big circus. And you had a choice of carnivals all over the place. You go watch tractor pools. You can go on the fer Ferris wheel. And I remember, I think, the, the first Ferris wheel, I, I, I took my daughter, my son, and my daughter sat in the same seat. Hey, I almost petrified and then they, you know, they stop. They stop to load people, and we're all the way up on the top. You can buy popcorn, you can buy caramel corn, you can buy all kinds of goodies and and knickknacks and patty wax and watch the animal. And you can go to the little petting zoo and give the kids a quarter, and, and they can get the, the animal feed, and and the animal's not hungry because everybody's been feeding them all weekend. That's what this is all about. And you've been to an old-fashioned New England fair, including the rides. This is what you're I, I guarantee they probably had pony rides. I guarantee they had rides. They probably had all kinds of entertainment for the whole family, including kids. But not like we have today. They had emeralds, green, purple. And that, that's a royalty dye that was hard to get a hold of. And if you had purple or blue, you were rich. Embroidered work. Fine linen. And coral. That's inside the seas. And agate. Man, you had it all. Judah oh, and the land of Israel. There they are. They were the thy merchants. They traded traded. Listen, we, not active right now, but in the farmer's market, we see people come and they give money for fruits and vegetables and all kinds of things. That's trading. We've been, we, were at a, we were at another flea market where we would watch the, the people in their booth and they would trade their goods for someone else's goods. It's barber. Not barber, the guy who cuts your hair, but barbery. Wheat. Of minna. And pagnac. And honey, and oil, and balm. Balm's a healing cream. Israel is right next door to Tyre. 
Damascus, that's where Paul was going. Was thy merchant in the multitude of the waters of thy making? The waters of thy making, I, I wonder if they were canals. For the multitude of all riches in the wine of Helbon. Oh, they had alcohol there. And white wool. Dan, that's the northernmost tribe that, that went Catholic. You read the book of Judges. Also in Jevon, going to and fro, occupy thy fares. A traveling. They brought on the bright iron. Cassia, communists, were in thy market. Dedan was the merchant for precious clothes for chariots. <laughs> I don't understand that. I have not had to dress my chariot. I don't have a chariot. But evidently the chariots were orientated with clothes. Arabia. And the princes of Kedar. Uh-oh. Be careful of Kedar. They occupy thee in the lambs, the rams, and goats. I guess they didn't have no petroleum back then. Notice Arabia brings the offerings that the Jews brought to the temple. Lambs, rams, and goats. And these were all thy merchants. The merchants of Sheba and Rema. They were the merchants that occupied in thy fairs with the chief of all spices. We went to the, the farmers, the, the flea market the other day, and we got the incense. All kinds of incense. And it was in a little boo with all precious stones and gold. Take everything and list it. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of merchandise going on here at these fairs. Someone should show that there's a lot to be here and have the city of Daytona learn. There's more to offer the people. Haran, Kenneth, and Eden. The merchants of Sheba and Asher and Chalmat were thy merchants. You see the ecumenical movement of everybody? These were thy merchants in all sorts of things. In blue clothes. Again, that's royalty. That's extensive. Broiled work. In chest of rich appeal. You've seen the chest. Bound with cords, ropes, made of cedar. That smelled good. Why is it made of cedar? Because you put your clothes in and the moths want to attack among thy merchants. The ships of Tarshish did sing, and there's nothing more than old sea chanting. We had a place called Mystic Seaport where I, where I grew up, and during the, during the weekends, all the different displays and all that, and they would have a guy or men in different parts, and they wouldn't even have it in the green. They would come out and they would sing the sea chanty. They're anything but Christian, but I mean, you know, yo ho ho, and you know, things like that. And they would sing and they would rejoice as they were raising the, the mask. As they were holding up the anchor, they would sing. And it would it'd get them to do their job more efficiently. And sing of thee in thy market. Maybe they were DJs at the farmer's market. Maybe they provided the score to keep people entertained. As long as they don't interrupt the preacher preaching. You have to know it. I didn't realize that night there. That even in the Bible, they had people singing at the market. That was replenished. They, 
I don't think anything ran out of stock and made very glorious in the midst of the sea. Revelation 18. Eighteen six plus six plus six eighteen. Revelation eighteen. And after these, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened by his glory. Was the city of Tyre spoken about lightened, seeing, bright? And he cried a mighty with he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great, is fallen. It's fallen and, the inhabit, and become the inhabitants of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean, hateful bird. <laughs> Birds are a type of devils in the Bible. Luke chapter four, or it's Mark four, Luke four. For all the nations, did you get that? United Nations Assembly. All nations. All. A L L. What do you think that includes? If America is around the tribulation, all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. If Babylon is the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church is in America. And they allow her in America. And they don't step in when the priests sexually abuse the children. They can't say anything because they're allowing babies to be killed. But all the nations, we saw all nations in Ezekiel 27. And the kings of the earth had committed fornication with her. I would laugh if America ended up going back to a king. Because that would make the Republicans really cry in their wet diapers. But there were Bab there were prince there were presidents and they were in Babylon. Don't tell me about the Babylonian religion. Uh, here, that, that, that's a heresy. It's up to you. We got the Babylon Babylon uh, pr presidents. Not one president has been for Jesus Christ. Outright. Daniel is. And the merchants of the earth, Ezekiel 27, are wax rich through the abundance, abundance, we just read that in Ezekiel 27, of her delicacy. Delicacy, you know, the fine, fancy food. The fine, fancy Christmas cookies. That only come out once a year. I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, the Jews, in the tribulation period. God tells the people, Get out of Egypt. God tells the Christians, Get out of the world. That ye be not partakers of her sin, plural. That ye receive not her. See, here's even right now, God's warning his people, Get out. And God sends a loud mouth preacher into a church and say, That's a sin. That's a sin. That's paganism. <laughs> he kicked my Santa Claus. <laughs> he says Christmas is not Christian in the trees, Jeremiah chapter 10. <laughs> Pastor, please give us a blue pill. And change our diapers and tickle our ears. Oh, how I love me. Oh, how I love me. Because we're so rich in a great church. Probably not go. Nope. For her sins have reached unto heaven, like Sodom and Gomorrah, Nineveh, and Babylon. And Jerusalem and Judah. God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Do unto others as others do unto you. <laughs> the golden rule. Be not deceived. God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. And double 
unto her double according to her work. You're in trouble. And the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. That's reaching, that's reaping and sowing. How much she has glorified herself. We are rich. We are great. We have need of nothing. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. From sea to sunny sea. Though it is an ocean, you dummy. America. I'm so proud to be American. Pride is a sin. And live deliciously. That's what Americans, they're living deli Oh, great things. So much torment. Torment, that's the word that is used about the rich man in hell. And sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit as a queen. I am no widow and shall see no sorrow. You know what America says? Nothing's going to happen to us. We got the best government. We got the best army. We got... Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. Okay, now, verse 11, 1811, and the merchants of the earth, where do we see that, shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. They had a fire sale. I said they had a fire sale. The merchants of gold, now watch, watch this, silver, Precious stones of pearls, fine linen, purple and silk and scarlet, all thyine wood, and all manner of vessels of ivory, all vessels of most precious wood, you mean chest, and of brass and iron and marble, of cinnamon, spices, odors, incense, ointments, balm, frankincense. I guess they were going to the baby Jesus' birthday. And wine. Did we read that? And oil. And fine flour and wheat. Who brought the fine flour and wheat? Israel and Judah. Beast. The Arabian. Sheep. Remember we mentioned horses? and Well, we had the clothes for chariots. I assume there was chariots there. And slaves. Now watch this one. And the souls of men. Not only slavery. They were people who sold their souls out. Maybe to get the next phone. Or go on that vacation trip. Or to go on. They'll do anything to go on there. Yeah, yeah, you better believe it. Listen, if we had a toilet paper shortage last year. I guarantee you. And people fought and, and battled it out for toilet paper. You get something more precious. They'll sign their souls on the dotted line and maybe even to Satan. And the fruits of thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. Whatever, whatever you want it. Look at the city in verse 16. Alas, alas, that great city was clothed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. It was a beautiful city. We're reading about Tyre. And we're also seeing the future city of Babylon, that the Christians will be in heaven. Thank God. And you don't like what I say about America and stuff all like that, but then I know who your God is. And you don't like it? Well, you just got kicked in the shin. Get on your knees and repent. 